Good morning, everybody. My name is Claudine, and my mom is Darlene, and she has Parkinson's. I'm filling in for her today. Today is supposed to be a reboot of her Make It Monday. Now, when she first started this channel, she was um, she was doing really good. She could still do all of her recipes and all of her trying different things, and and she was still doing really good. But in the last few days, she has, I think, been pushing herself a little bit hard. Um, really wishing to do things that she um, can no longer do unfortunately it's become more difficult for her and um, one of the things is cooking unfortunately she um, her hands just aren't working you know and so she was gonna make biscuits today she's very concerned about letting everybody down and I said mom nobody's gonna be upset with you you know like everybody admires your determination and not giving up you know what I mean so I told her that I'd help her make the biscuits later but that it was um, maybe something she should just sit down and talk about how it's it's harder for her to lose the independence and the things that she's missing out on um, because she didn't think that she could do that today just because she was gonna cry you know she was quite emotional about it today feeling like she's set she wants to start up the make it Monday again and um, she doesn't want to let anybody down I said mom you're not letting anybody down she says she's letting herself down but that's the disease that's happening you know it's not and I'm not even sure it's Parkinson's because there's things happening with mom that I I just don't know that they are Parkinson's related like her neuropathy is not from diabetes and they cannot find any other cause for her neuropathy but she sort of twisted her arm the other day she was taking off a, a cap from a fabric softener and she said that she felt something sort of turn in her arm but there was no swelling no bruising and sometimes with neuropathy you really should take it in to get checked just in case but I've become a pretty good eyeballer myself of it to see sort of what needs to go in and what doesn't need to go in and there was no bruising no swelling but in, since that has happened with her arm, her two fingers, she says that she's lost two of the fingers. These two fingers here are just sort of curled in. Um, so she's really struggling with her hands and her arms. And she's basically got fists. Like her fingers sort of are into fists a lot of times. And she's really struggling, just pushing buttons on her tablet and, you know, taking pills, picking pills up. She drops everything she touches. She's eating is another thing that's become very difficult for her because her hands are squished into things but if she grabs say a sandwich or something she crushes her food she crushes it into paste basically you know so she doesn't like eating paste obviously oh, sorry oh shoot sorry about that <laughs> I'm not an expert <laughs> just trying to get a bit of free time in my car here sort of came over and parked next to the community hall here and have a little chat um I told mom I'd make her a video today just because I I just feel so terrible you know I mean like I'm you know I read the comments and everybody's like oh Claudine what a wonderful caregiver and this and that and I'm almost I don't know I'm almost ashamed about all those comments that are telling me how great I'm doing because I'm not feeling like I'm doing super great at all I'm trying to help mom through what she needs but it's been a struggle for both of us and um you know it's for me to be um, with her for 24 hours a day um, I love my mom I love my dad don't get me wrong but up until a year ago I did have my own whole life going on you know that I saw mom and dad two or three times a week and I'm in my mid 40s and you know I don't I have a grown child and I'm not working full-time um, which is lucky for me that I have the time because my brother has a young family he's going to school he's well he's finished school now but he's working full-time and so this, this came to me, but I expected it. I wanted it. I told mom that I don't want her with anybody else taking care of her because I don't really trust other people to take care that I would take care, you know, spend the time that I would take. But now I'm have feeling guilty myself because, you know, if there's, you know, I spend a lot of my time sort of just laying in my bedroom and just sort of resting on my bed. And I feel guilty because... I want to be there for mom and entertain her you know she's got sort of a boring life right now and even her comments like she gets a lot of strength through this YouTube channel and but now even pushing the buttons for the comments um, like pushing the buttons to reply back and things like she's unable to type her replies but she's using the microphone 
um, so she can dictate her replies. But even just pushing the start and stop on the microphone button has become very difficult and she's worried that people are going to think she's stupid if she's misspelling things or if it heard the word wrong and typed it wrong. And I said, Mom, like everybody knows that the microphone is a man, you know what I mean? Like doesn't listen. You know what I mean? <laughs> Maybe that wasn't a good joke, but um, anyway, the microphone does miss, mix up your words and it's difficult for her to go back and correct them. So anybody that she's um, sending emails to or replying on comments to, just know that she is a very smart woman. She could always spell and write and she was the queen of list making, you know, um, very organized. She taught me all my organizational skills, which are lacking according to her. <laughs> I'm not as good as she as she is or she once was anyway at my organization. I tend to fly by the seat of my pants and structure um, structure is a little difficult for me but I need to have a routine as well and so I just I feel like I'm doing the bare minimum right now. I'm just scraping through making sure there's enough meals making sure the pills are there you know but we're not really we do enjoy sitting out on the back deck in the evening and whatnot, but I don't know. I think mom wants to do more with her life. She was always very adventurous, very adventurous spirit and uh, go get them type of attitude, you know, and I myself have been a little more reserved and shy, um, been through a few things that I do not want to be the center of attention for. And when she started this channel, I was very concerned that she'd want me to be on camera all the time and... I was, I'm, uh, anyway, not about me, but anyway, just, um, she, uh, we're just, I just want people to understand that the Make It Monday is, is her really wanting to get back to it. I'm going to help her with her biscuits, but she's, she's struggling today. And, um, some days I think that's normal, you know, but she is having a hard time accepting some of the things that she's not able to do anymore. Sorry about that. And, um, and I guess I'm having a hard time as well accepting some of the things that I'm going to have to do going forward. You know what I mean? That things that are going to be just difficult for me, they go above and beyond, you know, loving someone, you know, taking care of them. It's, um, it's a whole new relationship for us. You know, we went through where my mom was my mom and she was the rule maker, you know, and, uh, she raised me wonderful. I feel like I had a great childhood, you know what I mean? Like, and now I want to repay her with that. Plus I saw her take care of her mom. Like when her mom was sick, my mom lived in Nova Scotia and she dropped everything and just went back to BC and spent almost a year there with her mom until she passed. And that was a very selfless thing for her to have done. Uh, my uncle Gary spent has spent his life looking after my grandfather, you know, and um, also my grandmother, you know, before she was gone. But for the last 11, 12 years, just with grandpa, and he's he's forsaken his whole life, basically, to care for others. And it is sort of difficult. Um, it's admirable, for sure. Sorry. Okay, so I don't want to be a big De Debbie Downer here. Um... Even though in Calgary it's raining, it just started raining while I was sitting here at the park. So, sort of nice sitting in the car and listening to the rain on the tin roof. I do like that. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to try and focus on on giving mom some adventure in her life, you know, and and uh, making her time with us as happy as could be for her, basically, you know. And I try and I'm trying to pick up the rest of the slack like around the house but we have you know we have a three bedroom house and two bathrooms and a kitchen and so mom has always been very good about cleaning all her own bedroom bathroom dad's room all stuff like that even the dishes in the kitchen like she'll load the dishwasher every night you know what I mean and it's things like that like I've never been a super super clean housework lady you know what I mean but um I've always managed to maintain it but mom's level is a little higher than my level. So I'm gonna have to step things up just a little bit. Plus I am the one that has a uh, cat and a dog. So the fur is there for me to be doing the floors and the vacuuming. I do have an awesome new Dyson. Um, my Dyson is amazing for the pet hair anyway, just to plug Dyson for a little bit there. 
But anyway, um, as far as Make It Monday goes, her reboot, um, I'm sure we will try doing things together for her different recipes on Make It Monday. Again, like she did before, but please look through some of her old Make It Mondays if you get a chance because she really, she had it all together. You know, she really did. And it's nice to be able to look back. And that's what this channel is for anyways, for, um, not sure why I'm so emotional today. I guess because mom got me going. <laughs> uh, but this channel was originally started so our family could look back on her and remember the good times. And so she could share stories that we could look back on and recipes and things. Um after she's gone which I'm not ready to deal with yet I don't think anybody is ever really ready for that um, but anyway I just want everybody to you know I, I told her nobody's judging you mom nobody's judging you for missing a make it Monday when you said you were going to you know people understand that with disability and chronic pain and chronic issues um, you got to be a little flexible you know you can't always stick to a rigid schedule because you don't know how you're going to be feeling that day so so anyway i'm uh gonna just run up to the dollar store and get her a little treat something to cheer her up maybe and then we're gonna make spaghetti sauce tonight for dinner and maybe biscuits later but I just wanted everybody, I just wanted you know to do the video for mom today and she's feeling a little bit down but she really she really loves your support and your comments and their emails and everybody so thank you very much for people who take the time to watch and to comment back for her and uh, also for me thank you very much it's been nice um, to get the support from here for myself as well so anyway thank you very much and we will see you all tomorrow